All right, Scorpio, I, well, well, we'll just jump into it. There's no, there's no perfect way to put this. It, I think this is a very beautiful message. It's just extremely deep. When is it not? I don't know. I, Scorpio has a way of pulling something out of me or getting me to see things deeper. Ask the questions. Don't just scratch the surface. What is life? A lottery ticket? It's like, go in. I want to know. It's not uncommon for me to get deep messages for Scorpio. Again, this isn't going to be everybody's message. It, it may even be someone connected to you that uh, I'm picking up on deeply like this, but this could be your message or reversed. I guess it could be reversed, but here we go. So today, just today in my algorithm, I see a song by The Weeknd. Now I have not listened to The Weeknd, not really, in, in a long time. It's just, I just don't. It's, I don't have anything against The Weeknd. I just, I think I got really into The Weeknd when he first came out or when the movies, the uh, Fifty Shades of Grey were coming out because he had some songs in those movies or at least one big one and they played it over and over again on the radio stations back in the day and I kind of just got burned out on him not him but the music so I haven't really heard anything necessarily from the weekend in a while or actually listened Abel is his name Abel but today yeah not that long ago a song that apparently he just put out called Open Hearts. There could be a connection to hearts here, maybe even a connection to Leo because Leo governs the heart. But either way, uh, yes, and we are going to get into that song. I'm going to base this entire message off of that song in the video. This is a, an extremely deep message and I know it's not going to be for everybody, but for whoever was specifically drawn to click on this, just know I'm going to say this is the person because I want to base this off of romantic love as much as I can, but keep an open mind, this could be in any, anything. A family member, a friend, an, an estranged person from you, an ex, an ex-friend, whoever, a neighbor. Um, I'm going to say this is this person who's gone through this, but this could definitely be you, or the both of you, and you could mirror somebody here. Someone here has, without a doubt, had a near-death experience, has had some sort of overdose, at least. It's been an overdose, a near-death experience, uh, uh, brushes with death, close calls, close encounters, maybe even literally like close encounters. I've picked up on that for you guys before. Connections with the other world, like other worlds, other realms, other entities, other things. This is someone who's definitely seen spirits who can, like they know this is not it. That this planet right here, this this reality, this is not it. They may even consider life as a simulation, simulation, or we're in a video game. Because, guys, look at the video. I'll put it in the comments. You might want to watch the video and listen to the lyrics. And then look up the lyrics before you watch this video I'm about to cover. Because it might not make any sense to you what I'm trying to say without you watching the video of Abel's, of The Weeknd's Open Hearts. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get into it. So the very beginning of the video, um, I thought that I like clicked on the wrong link. Like even though it was the one suggested to me in the algorithm, I'm like, this can't be right. Cause the way that it's shot, it almost looks like very amateur. It almost looks like, it just doesn't look like, it doesn't look real. What's real? I think I think I think everything he's done in this video and the lyrics are on purpose. So it starts off with him in an ambulance and it looks like a video game and it's shot through like a camera lens. Like you'll have to see what I'm talking about. And the the ambulance is like speeding down these streets. Now listen, I have lived in California before. I've lived in a couple of different places. I don't remember this. But I'm pretty sure every place I live, most of the time, if there's an emergency vehicle, you pull over. In the South, you definitely pull over. It's a sign of respect and you can also get in trouble for not doing it. Now I know in certain places like California, you can't always pull over because the roads like are extremely busy. Cars after cars are jam-packed. So you can't really always move over, but 
in the in the game in the video the, the, the roads were not packed it was a two-lane street and cars could have gotten over there was nothing on the sides but they weren't almost implying that nobody really cares in this life ultimately here today gone tomorrow nobody really gives a shit at least that's what I was getting from his video so it starts off with him in this ambulance okay and it shows two people a woman and what looks like a man trying to help him almost save his life it seems as if he's dying like he's overdosing or he's per the lyrics he's done something he's chasing some sort of high and we see that throughout the video you you, you at some point see these horses these wild horses uh, chasing the ambulance and then this road the road he's on starts to go straight down it's almost like he's uh, headed down a long way down headed down a long path of destruction and just chasing a high chasing things that ultimately get us in trouble right then um, the humans that you see in one clip he's wearing a red suit sitting in the um, back of the ambulance like they're trying to save him there's almost parts where he leaves his body because the way that the video is shot, it's almost like from the perspective that he's already gone. So near death experience, could we say, because he's also at times he's behind the ambulance and at times he's in it, meaning his spirit, like the way it's being shot. He's, uh, if you've ever had a near death experience and left your body, I have, you know what I'm talking about here. This is someone who has definitely had close, close encounters, close calls with, because of some sort of drug or substance, alcohol, drugs, living wildly, driving recklessly, uh, chasing a high, chasing highs, being uh, being emotionally in a place where maybe we shouldn't be driving. I mean, it doesn't have to be drugs and alcohol, but it could be just, just reckless, wild, like the horses, okay? The humans that are in the video, they turn to, I guess they were trying to, he was trying to make it like demons with their eyes glowing and all in black. And when they turn to the demons, he's in a black suit now, as if he's almost like the ambulance is taking him to his funeral, artistically speaking, because he ultimately ends up on stage. We'll get there, I have chills. Uh, yeah, so you know, there's these demons in the next scene, and then, then the next scene, he's still in the same ambulance and all this, but then there's humans again. It's almost like he's coming in and out of it. Like he's coming to and he's going back out of it. He's coming to and then they're losing his pulse, and then he's coming to and they're losing his pulse. This is somebody who may have even flatlined a few times. Or and now, listen, this doesn't have to be a race story. It could just be like brushes with death or near death experiences, or if it's the near death of what our career could be because we were living recklessly, and it's like, damn, I could have lost everything because of my actions. I could have, you know what I mean? So, um, all that being said, what I got from the humans turning into demons is um, basically him trying to say that people who are there to help you, right? People in the ambulance are there to do what? They're there to help you. Aren't really actually there to help you at all. And that if they do help you, you're going to have to give them something in the end. It almost reminds me of like people in the entertainment industry. It doesn't have to be, right? But it's a great example here of you have to be careful because it's almost like it's a risky business and they don't really care about you is what I'm getting from what he's trying to say because ultimately, again, he ends up on a stage and he's performing for all the other demons. It's like he was transformed. He wasn't saved. He was delivered directly into it. I think what he's talking about falling in love, why it's so hard to stay clean or sober or um, stay on a specific path because he's going from this lane to this lane to this lane is because uh, he almost doesn't want to feel the, the weight of his decisions so he numbs he stays numb but he can only do that for so long at least that's what i'm gathering from it i paid very close attention and i watched it again uh yeah i took note of his suit changing from the demons to the humans from it going from red to black the ambulance uh i covered that already no car was getting over for the ambulance N none of them 
it's like there's no real help it, it appears that there's help but there's no real help it's, that's like the message he was sending is there really any help because it was also in desolate land it looked like they were driving in the fucking desert just to drive him somewhere that looked like under underground and then the upside down and uh, delivered him to his fate ultimately the wild horses chasing the ambulance could signify somebody here who's living a, who's been on a wild ride in life this life has been a wild ride and they've had many of experiences They've done a lot of things, reckless, been a little reckless. The driving was reckless. I'm getting something about reckless driving, DUIs, things like that. Um, chasing the dragon I was hearing, chasing dreams, chasing a high. Somebody here could also have lived a little crazy because they were chasing their dreams or they could have made some decisions they're not happy with because they were chasing their dreams, like selling the, the soul and things like that. Some say you can, some say you can't. I don't know about selling your soul, but you can sell your life. Meaning you can, uh, I mean, think about it. People in the entertainment industry, just for an example, I don't know if that's this message, if this person on your mind is in the entertainment industry, but people who are like really big stars and stuff out there, people always say that they sold their soul. But they work a lot. These people work a whole lot and they're constantly working and they're constantly having to perform, which is what Abel was trying to signify in the video. Um, so what type of selling really is that you're you're selling your life you're selling your time yeah you get money and you get all that and you get fame but at the end of the day you're wearing your body down it's a trick it's a fucking trick it's an illusion of help it's an illusion yeah there's perks but they only last for so long it's like medicine till the medicine wears off It's not really what it's cracked up to be. Somebody that's been chasing some sort of high or been on some sort of whatever it is, whether they've been chasing a, a career path or they've been chasing, a, they've been they've been struggling with addictions. I mean, I don't know what it is. It's not what it's cracked up to be. And someone here, the reason I love this this video that I'm doing for you now and Abel's video and the song and why I love this message and I said it's romantic, didn't I? Is because somebody's waking up. At the very end of the video, very, very, very end of the video, when I said he, the ambulance... The demons in the ambulance deliver him it's almost like he's already dead whether this is saying actually dead or spiritually dead this is uh, he's delivered kind of like underground to the upside down into what looks like a concert where everybody's waiting on him to perform for them he's already outside of the ambulance he's already there his soul has already arrived just waiting on his body to catch up and he gets out of the ambulance and he walks through and He's going in, because if you notice, you can see the exit sign. He's going into the exit, not out of the exit. He's going deeper in. This is someone who's like, well, it's like sealing their fate, really, okay? And then at the very end, he gets on stage and he's performing. This is how the video ends, and there's a crystal ball behind him. This could be, I think, his way of saying, um, maybe signifying that he couldn't have predicted this. Basically, this could be someone who's been through a lot okay saying to whoever they love or people in general don't do what I did don't do what I've done I've learned the hard way I've lived the hard way and I'm not very proud of myself and if I could what does crystal balls do they help us to see I if I could see and if I could have you know known then what I know now I, I wouldn't have gotten here today it's not worth it this isn't worth it. It's a game. It's all a game. It's a trick because the whole video looks as if it's shot like a video game. Like a, like a speed game. A racing game. All of that for this. I got what I wanted. But it was all an illusion. It's all a lie. Um, it could also be Abel saying... Um... I want you to see what I've done. I want to be clear. Crystal balls are clear. Not all of them, but a lot of them. I want the one in the video is clear. I want to be clear without being super clear. Because in the video, the crystal ball has like smoke going through it. It's almost like 
I have to be careful with certain things that I say because they're watching. Because the whole audience was like demons and their eyes were glowing at this point. He's in the upside down and they're watching him. Okay. Again, I told you this video wouldn't make sense unless you watch the video and listen to the lyrics. Um, so, you know, let's say you're anyone here is online or this is just an example. This is someone who's had several awakenings, who's lived and learned, and they have to be careful how they deliver messages because they know they're being watched. So it's like I have to say certain things because I'm being monitored and I'm aware. And I see now what I didn't see before. This could even be someone here, that's just one example, but this could be a person who, basically you've got someone here, unless this is you and this whole video is you, who is awake now, who sees a lot of truth that they didn't see before. I don't think we ever fully see everything um, until we're gone, because I just don't see how. I don't see how anyone on this planet is completely awakened. I don't think anyone is completely awakened or else we leave this planet. I mean, that's... That's like saying we have nothing more to learn. I highly disagree with that. We have plenty to learn and plenty to unlearn. But they've learned a lot. Whoever this is, if this is you, you've learned a lot. What's going to happen is, if this hasn't happened yet, you're going to encounter this person and maybe even you're both very much alike in that way. You've both been through a lot of things and you both see the truth of this game that we're in. I think you and another person could both even be people who, I don't know, I don't know how to word this, unless you're in the public eye, you're both in the public eye, or you're both famous in some way, or you're both psychic, or you're both very spiritual, or you're both very enlightened. I feel like you're going to... Uh, You were almost both tricked in this life. I think we're all tricked in this life. We have to figure it out or whatever, but it's like you you were both tricked in your own ways in this life and you're both kind of getting through the game, if you will, and uh, you end up meeting one another. If this has already happened, you've already met this person. At this point, it's not moving deeper yet because, well, both of you just come through the ringer and you're probably both still coming through the ringer because in the video, he just gets out of the ambulance. So what I'm thinking is, you know, um, they're kind of going through some shit still and you're kind of going through some shit still. Some of y'all, some way, shape, form. It's not exactly the time to like, let's go fall in love deeply. This is almost just like the light and the darkness because there is always the light and the darkness. And there's always the darkness and the light. Look at me right now. You know why I like this so much? The setup is plain as it is. Because my shadow is right here with me. I've never told anyone that. I figured someone would say something. No one said anything. I love seeing my shadow. It's part of me. This is someone who's saying, I've learned a lot. <laughs> I'm very aware of my shadow being there. I carry with me duality at all times. I don't just see one way. I don't just embrace the light. I also embrace my darkness. I don't just embrace my darkness. I also embrace the light. If you notice, the demons in the video are dark, but their eyes are glowing. Light dark. It goes from light in the video to being dark, the light and the dark. They go hand in hand. Both carried him to the destination, but it took both. So what do I mean by this message? Because well, I feel like you guys know what I mean. I feel like I don't even have to say that. I feel like I probably don't even have to like elaborate on it because I think you get what I'm saying. I really just do. I feel like you do. Scorpio or not. But what do I mean? Well, I mean that I think that you've encountered someone, or you will, depending on your timeline here, that has lived a very wild ride in this life. And they're still currently going through some things, but for the most part, oh boy, is this person highly enlightened. And it would be a beautiful love, but they're very, because they're so aware of shit, 
Love's gonna look a little different for this person. I think, I think you mirror. Reminds me a lot of Virgo energy because Virgo, they, they always come up with mirroring somebody. I feel like, did the timer go off? Why do I keep not, why do I keep not remembering if the timer went off or not? Uh, yeah, I think that you and this person will mirror. If not, that's fine. Uh, let's say you haven't had that much of a rough go or a wild ride. I mean, maybe you have, I don't know, but let's say you're more on the light side of things. This person's more on the dark side of things. I'm just saying they're, they're, they are your duality. They may be your duality. They may be your yin, the yin to your yang, vice versa. Or both of you will understand the light and the dark in one another. I think this has the potential to be fucking beautiful. Excuse my language. Why did I say that? What's wrong with fucking? Oh, stop it. Um, guys, this is a highly evolved individual and um, it's like, I, I know they're a human, but they don't feel like a human to me. But the only reason they don't feel like a human to me, and what I mean by that, is because they've elevated to a point where they realize they're not a human. They're just living a human existence. But they themselves are not a human. They are a soul. A spirit. As are you. And we all have different souls and spirits and different reasons why we're here. And, um... You hear the dog barking? You know that moment when Edward from the movie uh, Twilight, that's what I'm seeing in my mind's eye right now, that's why I paused, when he's walking into the school and, and he's like, everybody notices him. It's the energy. Uh, and the way that him and Bella look at each other, it's been so long since I've seen this movie. What's up with all these old movies coming back to my mind today? Um, that's what I'm seeing here. This person uh, may even be a little weird to the average everyday person. But the reason is, is because of their, their energy. They know who they are now. They're still uncovering and kind of dealing with some things like Example, I've been sober almost six years and I still have extremely high insurance and I'll have it for five years. So just because I'm not a practicing alcoholic anymore doesn't mean I'm not still paying for the shit that I've done. You know what I mean? So going along those lines, this is someone who may know who they are now. They're aware. They know what their soul is. Um... Everything that they did before they knew who they were and their place here and the power they held. Uh, everything they did before that, they, they're still answering for. So this could be someone who's still trying to pay off debt or still trying to, uh, you know, work through legal issues or things like that. Or still trying to work through some sort of emotional thing. There's still, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That's beautiful, actually. I love that. At least they're working on it. But then there's a side of them that's like... It's like paying off karmic, karmic debt. That's what this person's doing right now, currently. They're changing their lifestyle and they're paying off their karmic debt. This is when you'll encounter this person if you haven't already. And they've been through hell, literally. Like in the video. They've seen the upside down. I don't know why I keep calling it that. Because in the video it was upside down. They have a deep connection to cats. All animals, definitely cats. They can definitely um, hear things, and I'm not talking like things that aren't there. They hear things that are there, people can't see them. Because in the video, that's the very first thing he says, I can hear what does he say? Oh, I threw it over there. Something about, I can hear the wind blow even through 
the windows. And that's when you see the humans change to demons. He can hear, he can hear them, though he can't see them in their natural form. He can hear what people, what other people aren't hearing. He can see what other people aren't seeing. That's this person. Who will they be to you? I don't know. Depends on what you want and what they want as consenting adults. What do you want romance to look like? Are you guys going to fall madly in love? Maybe. Probably. If given the chance, but it might just look very different than your average relationship here on this planet because I don't think this person loves like that. I don't think this person loves like that. Not anymore. Maybe they used to, but remember, everything they used to do before was from a part of them that they identified with, but they know they're not that anymore. They're not that identity. They're not what's been programmed for them to think that they are. They know what they are. So now they're having to change all their all their things because the human things that they practiced for the most part um, are ridiculous to them now. They have a hard time trusting people too because they've been suckered. I feel like this person's been suckered into some shit. Just like the video. You know, they get, like so many people have come like it's saving grace. Even, even if it's not people who showed up in this person's life to be like the saving grace. It could be anything. It could be uh, spirituality, religion, something that's shown up to be the saving grace and then we go down the rabbit hole in it, right? We go down the rabbit hole just to realize everything has darkness. Spirituality has darkness. Religion has darkness. Marriage has darkness. Everything has darkness as well as it has light just like this video right here. You see all this light And my shadow right here got my back Make sure I never forget keep my bitch ass humble. It's just right here <laughs> just, <laughs> Ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? Doesn't let me forget. So yeah You're dealing with or you will be a person who's very They're aware of their darkness, and not just their darkness. They're aware of darkness, period. Everywhere. They see it. You know, it would be easy to go into fantasy land and listen to that song without watching the video. The videos to me are very important by an artist, as well as the lyrics. I think they go hand in hand, and we can't just go off one or the other. But it would be easy to listen to the lyrics, which I did take into consideration before I watched the video twice, to maybe think he's talking about falling in love with a person. I don't think he is, because if you notice, there's not another, there's not like a romantic partner in the video with him. This is someone who realizes like they can't lean on another person to get through this life. They've got, they've got to wake up. They've got to do their own things. They've got to continue to fight their battles. And ultimately, I think they're open I think they might not even be expecting you like for this connection to happen the way that it's going to if it hasn't already because they're, they're pretty sure that they're gonna have to do this alone and there's nothing wrong with that it's not negative of course we will we have to just like when we came through the vagina alone we or the or the belly if we were a cesarean we came through it alone unless we were a twin but either way we still we still did it alone our own we did it alone You know what I think is miraculous? Oh, I went way over. Conjoined twins. Now, I'm not so sure they've done it alone. They did it together. I just think that's miraculous. They're super rare, but any conjoined twin. So unless we're conjoined twins, we, we're, we've done it alone. And um, it's good to like face things like that. And, and you know, like no one's gonna have the awakenings for us. No one's going to have the aha moments and learn the lessons for us. We have to learn them is what I'm trying to say. It's nothing wrong with having people to like be there for us and us be there for people. That's not what I'm saying at all. I think that's also very important. But this is someone who's saying, um, I have to fight, I have to do this on my own. Like I have to. I have to continue to realize what's got me here in the position I'm in today. And I have to continue to work towards figuring out how to get the fuck out of here, how to how to work through it, and learn these lessons. 
so that I don't have to come back here. Here, as in this planet. Because fuck this place. I like it. It's okay. I like things about it. But even when you take a vacation, you're ready to go home after a while. You know what I mean? It was nice. But sometimes you miss your bed. You know, sometimes you miss your own bed. And that's how this person probably feels. Like, wherever the fuck I came from, whatever planet shot me up out of its invisible sperm yanker, wanker, please put me back. Put me back and leave me there. <laughs> it's like when you run off when you're a kid. I used to do that with my parents. We'd go shopping and shit and I'd go hide in the clothes. What a dumbass. I would go hide in the clothes and my parents would be like, where are you? And I would just be like straight up hiding in the clothes. Like that could have been so dangerous. Well, that's what I feel like I did whenever I came to earth. Like, why did I do that? I should have just stayed. I should have stayed. Was my planet Saturn? Was it Mars? Which one was my mom? Which one was my dad? Why did I have to do that? Why did I run off? Couldn't I just stay with them? No, what did I do? I ran to earth. I ran to earth and then I couldn't get out. The hell? That's what I feel anyway. I'm just venting. <laughs> oh God. So some of you, you might end up falling for somebody who's, you know, to others, maybe a little, I don't think they are. I don't think they are one bit. I don't think this person's crazy at all. I think this person's been through some deep shit and they have a very creative way of getting their message across, if you know what I'm saying, because that's exactly what the weekend did. If you're not looking, you'll miss it. You just think it's a good song, catchy song. No, there's a reason. A lot of, he's not the only one. A lot of people who end up seeing things ultimately, whether it's about this life period or a path they've chosen to take, a career path, whatever, they start seeing it and they start talking about it later on. Like the girl from Orange is the New Black. What's her name? Oh my God, and everybody calls her crazy now. But it's because she's telling everyone like, don't drink the orange juice. Or the orange, what does she call it? The orange juice, not like orange juice, but the orange juice. Don't fall for it, don't blah, 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 blah. Like that one model who came out screaming one time, she went to a dinner party and came out screaming that they're eating children and stuff like that allegedly. And she ended up missing. Because of that, nobody's heard from her again. Where is she? See, so they have to get creative with how they say things because, well, you know, the glowing eyes are watching with their crystal balls. This is a fun little planet, isn't it? It's a fun little planet. Yeah. So if this is you, uh, and you know, or a cross watcher, this is a Scorpio who is highly, <laughs> whew, like, it would be easy, you know, and I could see where society would probably try to discredit this person or something like that. I could see from the life they've lived and known before, but it's precisely that life they've lived and the decisions they've made that's got them to where they are now to seeing things. And people will try to weaponize their past against them and hold that over their head and shit like that. But no, 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 no. This person's highly aware and highly awakened. Uh, I, I don't like awakened anymore, but that's the only way I know how to describe it. The Scorpio is, okay? So... And I feel like, I feel like you are as well. I feel like there's two people here and that's, because otherwise, how are you coming across each other where I feel like you're like these energies facing one another and some of you is definitely a Virgo or somebody here has got some strong Virgo somewhere. And I say that because I've, I've been getting something like this for Virgos. Also, some of you, a person could meet you directly after some type of crisis in your life, vice versa. Per the video. Or uh, one of you could meet the other one on a stage or some sort of platform. Social media, maybe even platform or something on the internet. Or you could, this could be an individual who's finally meeting themselves for the first time. This could be a, an entire video about self-love. Yeah, so I'm gonna go now. I went way, way over. And uh, yeah, I was gonna say happy birthday, but then I realized that it's, it's Sagittarius. I'm like behind. So, I mean, it's just now Sagittarius season, but well,
happy belated birthday if I missed it for you guys. Thank you for being here with me and I'll talk to you later. Bye.